Hi everyone. I recently got a new 2023 Hyundai Santa Cruz SEL model, and it didn't come with the early headlines. And I have been watching YouTube videos and following forums that everyone suggested that uh, I should replace the headlights with the LED. So today, uh, that's what I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, a lot of YouTube videos and discussion on the forum suggest that we remove this trim right here um, in order to replace the headlights. But I found that that's not necessary and actually it's much easier not to remove it um, to replace the headlight okay so the reason i don't want to i don't want to recommend to do or remove the trim is because the clip that holds this trim can be broken if we don't remove them correctly and also sometimes you see that I tried to um, remove it earlier and it caused some scratch on the trim, right? For a new car, like these are the things that I don't want it to happen. Um, and most importantly, you don't really need to remove the trim, like I said earlier. So, this plastic cover over here is flexible enough so that we can just buy after we remove the pins. Um, we can just pull this plastic out a little bit, give it us enough time, uh, enough space to open the cap. So I'll show you. So there will be eight pins total you need to remove. See that? One right there. One, two, three, and then over there. Four, five, and then you have six over there, okay, and then two at the bottom. You see that? You see these two right here? Seven and eight. There you go. After you remove the eight pins you will also need to unscrew that thing right there and that one you can use your finger just to unscrew it um, it's not that tight so you don't need a socket to unscrew it for the tools you need to do the job this is all you need um, you can buy this from amazon and i have put the link below so you can check it i would highly suggest uh, you guys get this because it will make the job much easier and also if you plan to upgrade your speaker later you will use this same tool to do the job as well okay so after you remove all the pins you see this piece of plastic right here is open and you can just like grab that there you go you have the access to the cap now here's the thing now uh, something that you don't see is mentioned it in the earlier videos that this cap right here I didn't know I talked like I could have just turned it all the way to the left and eventually it come out but no it doesn't work like that you only need to turn it for about 30 degrees and it will be like kind of stuck because it's actually already open um, and then after that all you need to do is just kind of like pull it and kind of move it from side to side and pull it out because it has an air seal in there that's very tight so yeah again you don't have to twist it all the way out you just need to twist it about 30 degrees until you feel that you cannot twist it anymore then at that point try to pull it and move the cap side by side and eventually you come out okay okay when you pull the cap out um, the light bulbs is in there and all you need to do is reach your hand in there and cap rotate it about I say again 30 degrees counterclockwise and then you can you'll be able to pull the light bulb out and change it 
and replace it okay once you pull the light bulb out you see that um, there's a latch over here so you need to pull the latch out uh, one finger use one finger to pull the latch out and let's pull the latch and then the other one to pull the uh, the light bulb and then it will come out and then you can replace a new one in there okay so after we replace the, uh, the, the LED and close the cap you need to close this plastic uh, back and you should start it I found that uh, it's easier to start it from the bottom because you can observe it things like that so this P right here needs to be stay on top like that and then just put it in like that there you go it's snapping and then you just have to move this back in there uh, so like I said start from the bottom um, get that in and then just use this one right here to help you to push the rest in like that so, like that and just keep all the way up so when you put the pins back to the cars I want to show you a trick um, so if you notice that there are two layers of at the cap um, if you try to insert the pin just like that you see the top will be open very wide and it will be very hard to insert the pin so what you do is you can separate the first and the second layer of the cap um, you can use your fingernails or just um, some flathead uh, screwdriver to cap like ply it and separate them so like this there you go and as you can see after you separate them the top of the pin will be much smaller and you can easily insert it into the car so okay so i have finally replaced both headlights with the beam tech readings and as you can see they are very bright and clear no engine light so far i'm very happy with the result um, there's some flashing there in the video, but that's only in the video. When I look at them directly, I couldn't see any flashing at all. So anyway, I'm very happy with the results. I hope y'all enjoy this video. If you guys like it, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Ciao.